This was absolutely inevitable. We knew that it was going to happen. Indeed, it needs to happen going forward for Xbox. And we got official announcement this weekend, Game Pass Core. Xbox Live is going away. It is now Game Pass Core. That's right. It is now Game Pass Core. This is starting on September 14th. Now, if you have a Game Pass, or not a Game Pass, if you have an Xbox Live subscription, you won't need to do anything. This will automatically roll over. And you will now be a part of Game Pass Core. This gives you online gaming. It also gives you access to 25 Game Pass games. Now, you don't get the entire library. You do get 25 games. Let's actually take a look here real quick on what those games are. Now, these uh, will switch. It says new titles will be added two to three times a year. So starting off, you've got most of the big ones. Now, you don't get day one access. Day one access will be... Uh, reserved for higher tiers of Game Pass, which makes sense. This subscription model 100% makes sense in my mind. But you do get Among Us, Descenders, Dishonored. That's huge. Doom is good. Fable Anniversary, Fallout, both Fallout 4 and 76. Forza Horizon 4. Notice you don't get the latest one. Uh, Gears 5 Grounded, Halo 5 Guardians. Again, no Halo Infinite there. Halo's War, Halo Wars 2, The First Hellblade, Human Fall Flat Inside, Ori Will of the Wisps, Psychonauts 2, State of Decay, and Elder Scrolls Online. Uh... So you don't get the latest version of the games, but they are free games. So this is already a perk in my mind over just your standard Xbox Live. Gold, games with gold is going away, so you won't get games with gold. But honestly, games with gold, I'm sure they have the numbers on their back end. It probably wasn't doing that great anyways. I know since I moved over to Game Pass, I don't even think of games with gold anymore. Whereas it used to be like, ooh, what's the latest game to download? Now it doesn't matter to me. So here here are how the plans will break out going forward here. Core is $9.99 a month. You get catalog uh, of over 25 high quality games. You do get the online. You also get member deals and discounts as well. Uh, Then you get console Game Pass for $10.99. This is open complete access to Game Pass. New games on day one. So really just for a dollar more, you can upgrade to console. You also We also still have PC only Game Pass. Same thing, just on the PC along with an EA Play membership. And then you have Game Pass Ultimate, which I have, which gives you both Game Pass on PC and on console. Uh, and so you get all of that there. Now, Game Pass Core, I think it's smart. I think from a PR standpoint, it sounds good. It makes sense. Xbox Live, Game Pass, it's no longer confusing. This will tighten it up. You are going to have players, obviously, that that don't like this necessarily. I, I never wanted this, but it's the same price, guys. You're not losing out anything here. So, you, I mean, you are, I guess, losing Games with gold, whoop de doo you get 25 games in replace of that. So regardless of, there's a couple notes here that Xbox Wire makes. Um, games with gold will come to an end on September 1st. So that's officially when Games with Gold ends. Uh, players can continue to access any Xbox One games they previously redeemed from Games with Gold if they remain on Game Pass Core, Game Pass Ultimate member. And regardless of subscription status, any 360 titles redeemed via Games with Gold will be kept in a player's library. Overall, this is the right way. If you remember, they tried to kind of get rid of uh, Xbox Live, what, six months ago, maybe late last year, and they did it wrong. This is the correct way to do it. Take your time, roll it out, just roll the benefit over into Game Pass Core. I like I like the name of it. I think the PR is is well done here. And this is it, guys. Uh, Activision Blizzard deal is basically complete at this point. We are now full throttle ahead on the Game Pass business model here for Xbox. Xbox Live is going away, and it's Game Pass Core now for nine ninety nine a month. And here we go. And we're off to the races. I think this was smart. I like the name. I like the benefits that come with it. I also like tiering it so that you got to pay that extra dollar to be fully part of Game Pass. Uh, but if you want to keep the Xbox Live, you know, style, price, whatever, you can. You just get the 25. You don't get the day one releases. One dollar more gives you those day one releases on console. I think it's smart, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is smart? Do you think it's a smart move? Do you like the naming here? Do you like the PR here? Let me know in the comments below. Again, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. I'm X1 The Gamer. We cover Xbox news right here on this channel all the time. Xbox Core. It's here. Game Pass Core, rather. I like Xbox Core. We should call it Xbox Core. Game Pass Core. It's here. It's hot. It's happening. Let me know what you think. See you guys next time.